Hey y'all, well I'm at my home today. I've got my new garage. Uh, it was set up yesterday. They come later than um, I thought. Uh, didn't get here till 4.30 and they were here till like uh, almost 10 o'clock last night. But they got her set up. Uh, I've got this from Allen's Factory Outlet. Uh, if you want in a garage and all, compared to the prices that were around in Anniston and Alexandria, Alabama, Allen's, you couldn't beat their price. They were like $2,000 cheaper than any other place, and I liked it with them. You could go online and get, uh, build it yourself, whatever options you want and you would see the price as it was coming along and so went and uh, ordered this um they said uh, 30 to 90 days or 30 to 60 days um i think it was closer to the 30 if even before then but i love this it's a 22 by 30 building nice garage and nice for storage tried to get it to match the house but it was a little bit darker than my house and what I paid for this is what around here they were wanting for a carport with just a utility shed on the back of it. So that's what kind of prices. It's good material, good setup. It's a nice building. I did have to pay extra for the pad. I got it separately. And so for a 23 by 31 pad, it was, I think I paid 4,000 for that. Let's go on this other side. I've got a door on this side. Got it closer where I can get to the front door. And it's the only wind I've got in there where it get a little bit of light. And I love my garage. Like I said, I got it from Allen's Factory Outlet. And I... They, I, I really liked uh, whenever I ordered it. May have an echo in here, but you've got plenty of room. Nice setup with it. But if you get one of these manufactured homes, it's a good idea to get you one of these garages. Be a, if you want to, some of the dealerships, you can get them through them. If not, order it yourself. And I think you'll be pleased with them, even if you just get a carport. But as you can see, this, this is nice and large. I'm just figuring out, parking my car in here, I would have at least 14 foot of storage in here from the in front of the car. So that's a good bit. Now the only thing 
negative is with the one door over here. It's kind of hard getting it to shut something about with the, it's not lining up just right with the hole or something. And so we'll have to kind of see if I can file that down and get it where it'll go in smoother. But other than that, it's a great home. I mean, great garage. Um, I think you'd be well served to get one. I know I'm happy to get this. Uh, this is what used uh, the money for selling the old house. That's what uh, one of the things I've used for. Now, separate from me if anybody knows how to do a GoFundMe, let me know my neighbor uh he's 80 plus years old he's on a walker on fixed income he's got um, his social security check is less than a thousand dollars i believe and his roof he had called me up asked me if i knew any one that could help with it to get it patched up i thought it was a small hole i got a roofer out here to look at it and the fascia boards all that stuff is about gone uh ballpark figure was around 30,000 to replace it so I'm trying my best to help him he's a good good man uh, his disabled son lives in a camper trailer uh, in his yard with but he's not able to do anything I don't know how much his check but if you could if you know some way that uh I can get him help. I've talked to him at USDA about a USDA grant or loan, and uh, that application was really complicated. So I don't know if I'll be able to do it, but uh, to get him some help like that. But if there's any way I know about with GoFundMe or anything like that, uh, let me know in the comments and uh, so I really would like to help him um, other, another thing in the comments if you like with me doing things on garages and other things that would go along with your manufactured home let me know and I will go and get those and put uh, put on there or on the channel and if you like this content uh, content give me a like share comment subscribe and i hope you have a great day god bless you all and we'll see you on the next one bye for now